Live photos are effectively three-second video files, and you can use them in your video editing software. But if you're gonna do that, well, there is a few things you should know. Welcome to Ace Movie Channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make live photos into a video. So first, let's talk about how to get those live photos off your iPhone and into your video editing software. Usually, many people would do that as through AirDrop, AirDrop from your phone to Mac. But if you do that, all you'll end up with is the image file. You won't get the video file from the live photo. So what you actually need to do is, connect your iPhone with Mac and launch the photos on the Mac. From there, select the live photos you'd like to transfer. Hold down the Option key and drag those photos to Finder window. What you will get are two files for each photo, the regular image file itself, and an MOV movie file. After you get those video clip, you can import those video clips to the video editing software. But there is another important thing you need to know, that is the frame rates. Mostly, the live photos is 30 frames per second, but uh, it's not always 30 frames per second, it depends upon the exposure. Let's take a look at these live photos. This video is shoot in a well-lit area, with lots of sunlight, and it is 50 frames per second. And this one, is 24 frames per second. So the frame rate is based upon the exposure, based upon how much light is available. In that situation, I suggest that use the 24 frames per second, it's the best choice for most situation. The other thing to be aware of is the aspect ratio. The live photos are 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Most likely the video you're creating is 16 by 9. So when you add the video clip to the track, there will be a black bar around the video. Here are two tips to fix that. The first is to increase the scale to fill the black bar, but you will lose some part of this video. Another way is keep the black bar, and add some stickers to it. In Ace Movie, we have many stickers here, you can choose the one you like, put them to the black bar, or between the video and black bar, I mostly like this way, cause it looks dynamic. And here is an extra tip for editing these live photos, that is stack these video clips. Usually we play the video clip one by one, but here, I'll stack them together like that. First, move the playhead to the end of the first clip, right click and choose add freeze frame, and rotate it a little. Next, add the second video to the second track, place it about half a second before the first video start freeze frame, and rotate it a little. Then, add the third video clips like we do before, and drag these freeze frame to the end of last video clip. Last step, go to transitions, add this twirl transition to each video clip. Let's preview the video. The video stacked together, it looks nice. But, you can add some stickers, to decorate the video. Or the filters, overlays, to decorate the video, make it look more attractive. Well, that's it. Now just open Ace Movie and organize your live photos into a video. By the way, if you use Ace Movie, here is a 15% a discount to our YouTube fans. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Let us know what tutorials you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.